Throughout African history, no ruler was to make such an impact as Mansa Musa, ruler of Mali. With his power and reputation, Musa grew the economic and political influence of Mali by taking control of trade cities in Africa and uniting them under a common rule of law. He also brought means of religious education to the empire and united the tribes of his empire under Islam. The grandnephew of Sunjiata Kita, the Lion King and original founder of the Mali Empire, Musa was born in the late 13th century. He ruled Mali from approximately 1312 to 1337. Musa was able to make Mali a world power through aggressive expansion and acquisition of trade cities. Musa was a Muslim and his piety helped define him as did his generosity and devotion to religious education. Establishing Islam as the base to his great empire, countries around Africa took on an Islamic character following the footsteps of this great ruler. When Musa became ruler, he gained control of many cities through military might and united them into a growing Mali empire and one system of law and order. Important cities he added included Walata, a trans-desert trading town, Taghaza, a salt-producing town, and Timbuktu, the hub of east-west-north-south trade routes and a scholarly center. Strengthened by trade routes and centralized government, the Mali Empire and the Songhe realm that followed it would continue to benefit long-term from this prosperity and security. As a devoted Muslim, Musa united the diverse tribes of the Mali Empire under Islam. As a part of the faith's five pillars, he completed a Hajj or a pilgrimage to Mecca during his reign. On this journey, Musa took over 60,000 people, including soldiers, attendants, subjects, and slaves. He brought hundreds of camels carrying satchels of gold. Along the way, Musa spoiled people who assisted him with his journey to Mecca by presenting them with large sums of gold. During his three-month visit to Cairo, Musa caused the local market value of gold to drop 25% due to his generosity. As a result of his journey to Mecca, Musa used his wealth to strengthen the reach of Islam throughout his empire by building extravagant mosques in trade cities. These Islamic mosques influenced his reputation as an African Muslim ruler. Musa also sent students to study in North Africa with Islamic scholars. With a strong belief in religious education, he brought in Arabian and North African teachers to teach at his newly erected religious schools. Four of those teachers professed to be descendants of Muhammad, the Prophet. Ansa Musa, ruler of Mali, son of Islam.